This is an SU TV News Update, brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore. Scripts. Once college came day came to an end, the excitement continued during the Bison football game. The sold-out crowd at the Fargo Dome saw many school records be ma being made. Head coach Craig Bull won his 92nd football game, making him the coach with the most wins in NDSU history. Brock Jensen also broke a school record of career pass completions with 538. And Marcus Williams tied the NCAA Division I FCS record of six interception return touchdowns. The next game for the Bison will be this weekend in Brookings against South Dakota State. SP ESPN officials say that Fargo was the perfect site for the show College Game Day, hosted downtown Saturday morning. Thousands of Bison fans dressed in green and yellow and filled the streets of Broadway, and many others cheered from windows, patios, and rooftops. The show ended with game day analyst Lee Corso walking out of the Fargo Theater wearing a bison head and a baby bison by his side. Game day producer Lee Fitting says that ESPN will make Fargo a yearly stop if everything falls into place. A North Dakota woman is dead after losing control of her 2000 Dodge Durango in Lisbon Saturday afternoon. According to the North Dakota Highway Patrol, the crash happened just before 3.30 in the afternoon on a gravel road in Ransom County. The 42-year-old woman lost control of her vehicle, entered the ditch, then traveled back onto the roadway where she rolled. The woman was thrown from the car and died at the scene. The troopers have not yet released her name so that the family can be notified. A kidnapping victim has been found safe after 13 years in captivity. In the year 2000, Sandy Hatt abducted her infant grandson while the father was at work. Suspicions were raised with school officials about her guardianship status when Hatt attempted to enroll the now 14-year-old boy in school in Missouri. Investigating officers were involved and discovered the boy had been missing for over a decade. The boy and his father have been reunited and are now living in Alabama, and Hatt has been arrested on suspicion of child abduction and is held on a $25,000 bond. And now we will take a look at the weather. All right, so we can see that throughout into the evening, it's definitely it's going to cool off a little bit into tomorrow. Um, but we are seeing we're seeing some 70s, some 50s. So it's definitely it's fall weather. Um, and now we're going to look at the rest of the week into the seven-day forecast. Um, we can see that we have some highs of the 70s um, and some lows in the 50s. So it is definitely cooling off. We see some chances of showers coming up, but into the weekend, it's definitely going to get sunny. So definitely going to be a time to get out and enjoy the weather, maybe hit up some apple orchards. Well, this has been an SU TV News Update brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore. This is an SU TV News Update, brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore.